single day. Hey, Sharon Carney, this is Sharon Carney Cop Watch, and uh, I got to make a comment before I do a screen read on this, too. Um, if you live in Florida and Charlotte County, you know why uh, we don't uh, make weed legal. We barely got um, uh, medical marijuana legal. Here is the reason why. We already tried prohibition. It completely failed. It made our nation corrupt to the core, and that corruption is still here. Um, so when we quit prohibition, we had to keep the workers busy, so let's switch it to something else. Let's say that weed, when smoked by a Negro or a nigger uh, and a Mexican, a brown man, if they smoke that, they're going to rape you. What? What? And that's why we started the war on drugs and pot. It is disgusting. You are not a free, a free country, and you could do this shit. I, I drink and drug. I drink and drug. I drink and smoke pot. Guess what's worse? Alcohol. Hello? Completely legal, okay? I don't think anything should be illegal. There's a country that already decriminalized drugs, and uh, it's actually way, way better. Period. Look it up. And the reason why Bill Promel, our fucking Nazi-ass dictator, doesn't want it legal, because it's policing for profit to the max. Florida has the third most people in jail and prison than the whole rest of the goddamn world. He, you are literally product in their industry. Uh, we're talking arrest, uh, jail. They're making money. The food people uh, getting doing stuff there is making money. Uh, court, courts are making money. Lawyers are making money. Tow trucks are making... I mean, look at that. You are product. And you call that freedom? We got some new psycho-ass fucking stalker named Gary Snow who is a Trump fascist who... Here Trump is fighting to try to get rid of the uh, the corrupt swamp up there, and he doesn't want to get rid of it down here. It's everywhere. We're, tr we're trying to stop the corruption, and this psycho fuckbag who supports cops that illegally kill people, especially when they're black, look it up. In uh, Chicago, he did. In fact, the Chicago police said, get the fuck out of here, you psycho. That guy was a, that cop was a psycho. That cop went to prison, and Gary still supported his illegal act of executing a black man illegally. 16 shots, emptied his gun, and Gary thinks, Gary Snow thinks that's fucking awesome because it's a nigger, it doesn't count. He's a fucking white racist fascist. And our sheriff is a fascist. He doesn't believe in freedom at all. That's why he doesn't want weed here because it'll dip into his policing for profit. Remember what our founding father said, take a goddamn country back while you can. You are a frog in a pot, get the hell out and fight. Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Prummel doesn't like or want freedom. Dot he believes in the police state with his road parades. Charlotte County Sheriff believes in what they did when they shut down prohibition. They needed to keep the people busy because they all just lost her job. That's why we started the war on a war on drugs and pot. Let's tell the people if a black man or a Mexican smoke pot they are going to rape your white wife. And ever since then the war has been on the Americans. You are just product in this out of control police state. That is policing for profit. Our founding fathers did not fight for this. They said to fight against it. Our founding fathers would have been shooting a long time ago. Michigan, Illinois to begin recreational pot sales. By David Eggert and Kathleen Footy. The Associated Press. Ann Arbor, Michigan James Daly is eager to make marijuana history on Sunday, when he plans to open the doors to Arbor's wellness, beckon the lengthy line outside and legally start selling recreational pot for the first time in the Midwest. We've worked very hard to be prepared, said Daly, who owns the medical dispensary that, for now, is among just six shops in Michigan mostly in Ann Arbor also approved to start selling for adult use in December. The business is doubling staff and has fielded calls from potential customers across the state along with neighboring Ohio and Indiana. The end of prohibition is historic, he said. We wanted to rip the band-aid off. Both Michigan and Illinois, which allow sales starting on January 1st, are officially joining nine other states that broadly allow marijuana sales. 
companies are rushing to complete renovations at dispensaries, expand their growing facilities, and get staff hired and trained. The Midwestern state's launch into the potentially lucrative recreational market comes at a turbulent time for the industry, which has been rocked by layoffs, the vaping health scare and investor disappointment with Canada's marijuana program. In both states, a limited number of businesses have received state licenses letting them sell recreational products initially. But those same retailers must keep enough product on hand to supply people certified as patients under medical marijuana laws. The conditions are almost a guarantee that Illinois and Michigan customers will experience long lines, product shortages, and potentially high prices in the early stages, said Adam Orens, co-founder of the Marijuana Policy Group. They've got to get through the growing pains to get a system implemented, he said. Taking marijuana from a small cutting to dried flour ready to be sold or transformed into edible gummies or oils takes months. In Michigan, where voters legalized recreational pot just over a year ago, regulators who began accepting license applications November 1st are aiding the transition by letting medical growers, processors, and dispensaries transfer up to half their products to the recreational side under certain conditions. But marijuana is unlikely to be more broadly available until more businesses become licensed and additional communities authorize sales. More than 1,400 of Michigan's nearly 1,800 cities, townships, and villages are not allowing recreational businesses. Even Detroit, home to the most medical dispensaries in the state, has delayed recreational sales until at least January 31st. This is brand new for a lot of municipalities. I think it's important that they are doing their due diligence and taking an approach that honors the will of their people, said Andrew Brisbo, executive director of the Marijuana Regulatory Agency, which has awarded 18 licenses and approved 78 pre-qualification applications. He said he expects adult sales to occur in some consistent form at a greater number of Michigan locations by the end of March. In Illinois, Seven months will have separated Governor J.B. Pritzker's signing of legislation permitting people 21 and older to buy and possess marijuana and the start of sales in January. The first round of applications is limited to existing medical marijuana retailers, and about 30 are newly licensed to sell recreational products. More could be approved before January. Most of the state's licensed cultivation companies are expanding their space to meet higher demand for marijuana products. But that work takes time, too. See Pot, A21. This November 25th photo shows marijuana on display at Arbor's Wellness in the Medical Marijuana Shop in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Adults aged 21 and over in Michigan will be able to buy marijuana for recreational use starting Sunday. David Eggert slash The Associated Press. Pot. From page A20. Mark D'Souza. CEO of the state's largest marijuana producer Revolution Enterprises, said he has heard from dispensary operators panicked that they could have empty shelves within months of adult sales beginning. But he believes the overall structure Illinois' law created will become the industry's gold standard. You're going to ensure everything from compliance to truth in labeling to taxes to consumer safety, he said. We don't think any short-term supply issues are going to be harmful. Still, retailers are considering appointment-based systems rather than lining up customers in winter weather. Others have retrofitted their dispensaries to let medical patients in one door and recreational customers in another, hoping to limit confusion if their product supplies run low. Amy Mang Annally, Chief Operating Officer at Maple Glen Care Center in the western Illinois city of Rockford, said she is anticipating long lines and taking steps to prepare employees. We can't open January 1st and have somebody futzing with the scanner, she said. That won't make the people in line, standing outside in winter, very happy. State law lets local governments bar recreational dispensaries, and at least two of Illinois' existing medical dispensaries are in communities that decided to prevent expanded sales. Chicago set up seven districts with a limited number of dispensaries allowed in each, and business owners only learned at a lottery event in mid-November where they could operate within the city. Illinois lawmakers said they expected a slow start. Their long-term goals, though, hinge on parts of the law intended to 
ensure people of color can open and work for marijuana businesses despite historic inequities in enforcement of state and federal drug laws. The law includes a scoring bonus during the license award process for social equity applicants people living in communities most affected by enforcement of marijuana laws, or individuals arrested for or convicted of marijuana offenses that would be legal under the new law. A low-interest loan program for these applicants also was created as part of the law. Michigan has cut marijuana licensing fees for prospective business owners living in 41 cities whose residents were disproportionately impacted by drug enforcement. Toy Hutchinson, a former Illinois state senator who oversees the work of all seven state agencies that interact with cannabis businesses, said she is confident that regulators are hitting their deadlines. And she said they will be prepared for other significant milestones in 2020, including the first round of applicants seeking 75 additional licenses to sell recreational products. January will bring hiccups, Hutchison acknowledged. But she said Illinois must stay focused on broader goals including making sure people of color get opportunities in the marijuana industry. If we're really serious about equity, this is a long game, said Hutchinson, who co-sponsored the marijuana legalization proposal. This isn't just about January 1. State law lets local governments bar recreational dispensaries, and at least two of Illinois' existing medical dispensaries are in communities that decided to prevent expanded sales. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.